the, the real attraction of the helium-3 is that it's a nuclear process, which of course doesn't release uh, any uh, greenhouse gases or, and, and so forth. That, I think, would be the biggest uh, advantage, nuclear power without nuclear waste, uh, which would be a, a goal for the, for the Earth for hundreds to thousands of years. The numbers used to be classified, but nowadays uh, we can talk about the numbers. And the United States has about 30 kilograms of helium-3. The uh, 30 kilograms, though, can be compared to the amount that's uh, deposited on the moon from the solar wind, which is about a million metric tons. So that amount of helium-3 is enough to power the earth for uh, a thousand years or so uh, of all of the energy that the earth would need. Now there seems to be another uh, wave of interest of going to the moon both by the United States uh, and uh, China, and there may be other countries as well. And uh, most of these programs have as part of their goal uh, harvesting uh, helium-3 for terrestrial uh, use. I'm not sure I'll see it in my lifetime, but I'm sure that uh, my children or grandchildren will see that. And that will be the, the ultimate use of uh, helium-3.